Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I thought we can kind of start off on The Sims this week. Um, well not start off this week with The Sims, we're actually ending off the week with The Sims. Happy Sunday everyone! So we're going to be doing a legacy challenge in The Sims, and I kind of have a story for this legacy challenge, and I kind of have this air laws that I'm going to be doing for the legacy challenge. So without further ado, I want to kind of want to go through a whole create a sim and create a sim with you guys, and this sim is going to be the definition of a legacy challenge that's going to be a challenge. So... While we're doing the creative sim, I'm going to give you guys the story for this sim and why I want to create this type of legacy challenge and basically what we're going to do for this legacy challenge. And um, yeah, so let's just get right in with the legacy challenge. So I'm going to try to make this not as long as possible, but um, I kind of have this sim right here that we are going to fix up, let's say. But my sim kind of started off with red hair and I kind of wanted to keep this red hair because now I'm starting off with a male sim, obviously, because um, if you take a look at other legacy challenges, a lot of them start off with women. And no hate to those, but I think maybe it's time for a change and kind of go for like a nice little um, male. So obviously I stayed with the red head. I changed up the beard a little bit just to be a little bit more smaller and I changed up the eye color to maybe like a little bit of a green color. Um, I think that will suit him really well and I just changed up the face shape giving him like a nice jawline um, because this is our founder sim and we want to have like you know some like, good looking sims to start off the family um, line. Obviously, the clothes, the, um, I did try to change them. I think I did change a lot of them, but I like the flannel to start off with because um, a lot of my costumes, I usually use flannels and they look really well. I, I love them. Uh, they're just nice. So I kind of wanted to give him like a nice little tan. I changed his nose shape up a little bit. I wanted to make sure that he looked all fine on the face shape and everything to begin with. So Mr. Nate, so Mr. Um, Sim here, I chose a name. His name is going to be Nathan Riggs. Um, so Mr. Nathan has our founder sim, and obviously I go more in depth of his story through the um, when I chose his lot and everything. So obviously um, his um, outfit here, um, he is he has like a gray flannel to start off with, and he has some jeans to go through, and he has some um, like I think boots. I go with a style of boots that will suit him very well for this. Um, and I think I also went ahead, yep, I also chose some tattoos for him, um, because why not? I went to go through and maybe do both arms of the tattoos. I don't think I did anything other than both arms. I think I did one full length and one a little bit down. I, I don't know if I did both full length. So, basically, this entire sim... I did, I did do full two legs. Okay, so basically this entire sim, a lot of this stuff was not really good on him. Because the sims, when they create a sim, they don't put the best clothing on the sim at all. So obviously right now we're on his like athletic wear or sleepwear. Um, it's his athletic wear. Now we're on the sleepwear, and I think that the sleepwear was fine. I just wanted to change up the shirt, I think, a little bit. It's like a nice blue color. Um, they and a nice red plaid pants because I have those exact same ones and I don't know what they did here for party because why does that look like party material to you um, sims gurus so I just changed it up a little bit to make it a little bit more formal and then he had his uh, swimwear and I just changed it up to like a nice little gray and his hot weather his hot weather I found was pretty nice so I just gave him a nice little um, button up shirt um, and I took off his earrings, and I had to make sure that no earrings were on the other um, ones for him. So, now we're in the cold weather. The cold weather one was pretty decent. Um, I found that to be his cold weather, um, and that's pretty much what the outfits are. Um, so, the next part is going to be choosing his aspirations, his name, and everything, which was a hard process. And obviously, I'm, I wanted to go through that one but it wasn't nice. So I'm just going through and I can't find a very good first name. Um, I can't find a very good first name. I go through a lot of it. 
I start going through the last names and I uh, see Riggs. I'm like, oh wait, did I just see Riggs? Um, so then, oh yeah, I saw Swift. <laughs> um, I saw Riggs. I'm like, oh, let's go with Nathan. Nathan Riggs. I'm um, kind of familiar. He's an anime character. Um, ironically, um, he's not a um doctor. Um, so I just choose his traits, and I didn't go for any likes or dislikes. So I want him to find that out himself. Obviously, he did end up not liking fishing, but I'm forcing him to do fishing anyways. You'll see that later. Um, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but pretty much, that's what this sim is. And yeah, the Legacy Challenge is going to be off to a great start with our air rules, which I think I get into the video. If not, I'll show you guys later. All right, so here we have Mr. Nathan Riggs. Now, the name was very hard to make, and through my whole spiel, through the whole sp sped up process of making the sim, you kind of saw maybe why I chose this name and why it was so hard to like actually get a name. So, we have Nathan here, and now we're going to go ahead and move him into a nice little um, home place. So, I'm going to go get his home, and we're going to maybe make like a whole story based on why he's moving into this new home and basically his family life, his life, and why he's starting anew with basically nothing in this legacy challenge. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing in this legacy challenge as well. So we have a new Riggs household, and I, I, I love Riggs, okay? Riggs is going to be my new main man, and he's going to have a successful lineage I can see it we're gonna start in the summer we're gonna start in summer just so that or maybe we could start in spring because we'll move into summer and fall let's, let's do spring we'll start in spring i think that's a little bit more better if we start in spring okay so we kind of have mr nathan here and he's moved into brindleton bay and now he's on the 64 by 64 lot now why did i move nathan into the 64 by 64 lot on brindleton bay and what's his family history and why is he living on his own? Basically with nothing, left with nothing. Well, Mr. Nathan here has had a, well, let's say a good family life for the most part. Um, He wanted to move out and he's basically went from place to place throughout his life because his family ended up leaving him. They didn't want him anymore, so they ended up leaving him. So he's bouncing from house to house from time to time with no place to go. Now, he's, he's tired of this. He, he wants to move on. He wants to create a su successful family. And he wants to give a life to children that his parents couldn't give to him. So he wants to find the perfect person for him. And he wants to basically bring a whole family into the world and just raise it. And it's going to be fun, which it is basically gonna snow in spring it's like new york weather here oh my god so that's basically what nathan is going to do in this series on um, this legacy challenge he's gonna raise a family um the goal is to raise 10 generations now this is the way i have it set up for my legacy challenge so what i'm basically going to do is it's gonna be the equality um air rule where basically any gender could um become an heir for this family and we're kind of going to do it on modern so it's going to be modern and last born so the last born child is going to basically become the the heir regardless of who they are regardless of the gender as is inequality our last born child will become the heir um so we're also going to do tolerant which means any species um if we end up having an alien baby, I don't know how that will happen. But any species, regardless of what they are, if we adopt, um, that's what kind of modern is, is if we adopt, whether they are born or adopted, um, they'll become heirs on um, this family. So Mr. Nathan here, um, we're going to create life very, very hard for him. So we're basically going to give him less amount of money. Basically, he's going to start off with nothing. Um, so we're going to just. No, I don't want you to walk through yet. So we're basically going to do testing, cheats, true. So this is the only thing that we could do for cheats in this. So testing, cheats, true. And we're going to just make him money 1,000. 
So basically, he's going to have $1,000 to his name, Mr. Nathan. And we're going to go into build mode because he's kind of need to live in here, kind of. So we're going to have to see what he can afford and what he can do. So I don't think he can afford much of anything. So we want to give him at least a bed to sleep in. Like, look, he can't afford any of this. Like, he can afford this kinder maid. But I don't want him to have that. Oh my god, it's always so sophisticated adult bed. There's like no sleeping bag, so I can't do that. Um, so we're gonna give him. It's it's gonna be maybe the decent dorm bed. I think that he can live in that. Um, and obviously we're gonna have him. Um, have, make this house his in the future. But I think we're gonna go with the Mod Pod sleeper. Um, that's not the cheapest, but the accordion cot. I feel like I feel like that this will look good if he had like a just a rundown home. And we're at seven hundred forty-five simoleons already. Now he's gonna need something to eat with. I think that there's some places around here that he could go and eat with. Eat at. Um, and it is like it's. You see the snow? You see the snow? Why is it snowing in spring? Like, come on. So we're going to have that, and I don't think he can afford much of anything else, but he's going to need a trash can at some point, right? Um, so let's see, what could we give him? I mean, we could give him like a fridge and just the small stuff he could basically get. So like this, the, the fridge that he could afford right now, it's kind of like I'm making like a Bloxburg mood station because I play a lot of Bloxburg. Um, so he kind of has like this, so he really will have a bed in that. Let's give him a garbage can. He's going to need one. and then. 200 simoleons for this? Yeah, I feel like we could give him that. Um, I feel like we also have enough money to give him, like, a shower to start with. Let's see, what what kind of shower could we give him? I want to go for one that's relatively cheap. Well, this is the only one we can give him, which is 300 simoleons. He'll be left with 10 simoleons, so he'll be really poor. He'll be really poor. But I don't want him to go without much of anything, so we'll give him a... Then we can't afford any shower. Okay. Scratch the shower. He could go stinky. He could go stinky. Um, you know, let's just give him a little bit of life as well. So let's give him like a little plant outside, I guess. Um, well, we can give him that. 120 simoleons. So this is kind of where he's going to be living from now on. And while it's sunny and cold out, so he's going to be freezing. So now we're going to have him go meet some people. Hopefully we can get some stuff going on in this episode here today. But this is Mr. Nathan, and he's going to go out in the world and do whatever. So let's go have him. Well, first, we want him to get a job. So let's have him get a job. He's just going to react to first snow. Like he's never seen. No, I don't want him to travel. I want him to find a job. Um, We're going to have him find a job. So Mr. Nathan has no set what he wants to do in life right now. So we're going to kind of give him like a simple job. Like see here, he could be like an actor. Um, but um, for right now, um, we're going to leave him at that. Um, but we're going to kind of have him be, since he's a foodie, he could be like a critic. It gives him like $21 an hour in like for business. Um, $16 an hour. I think the critic, yeah, the critic gives him more money. So we could give him as, you know, like everyone has an opinion, but not everyone is paid to have it. Sims who feel they have superior judgment can either enter the critic career, whether it's the foods or arts. Your Sims will have something to say about it. And others will listen to career. So basically, we'll have him start the job and he starts um work assignment level up writing skill well right now we can't do that unless he goes to the library so we'll probably spend a lot of time at the library with this sim um, because we do want him to do that and once he kind of gets the flow of things he wants to start his career um whatever career that will be but we're also but we're actually so he starts work in 22 hours so it'll be monday at 6 a.m so we have time we have time let's go meet some friends let's go meet some people we're just going to travel and we'll find a place to travel to. Okay, so we are now at the library and Mr. 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 Nathan is going to get try to get his writing skill up. Who is this? Who are these people? 
Well, that's Clara Bjergsen. I'm, I'm completely botching these people's names. But there is a computer here. So let's see, what is he going to do? Practice programming? No. No, you're not going to program. You're going to write, um, write column. Let's have you write a column. Um, basically, you're a new critic and you want to get that writing skill up so you can get your promotion. So here Nathan's just going to get his writing skill up at the library. I'm going to go also see who else is here. Is it just those two ugly, boring people? Okay, I guess it's those two ugly, boring people plus this one person who's just decided that they're just going to fall asleep. Oh, Nancy Landgrab. Obviously, Nancy's a fan for some reason. Um, whatever Nancy is. Who is this? Oh, that's the paparazzi. Okay, who is this? Oh, that is a proper... Oh, okay, Dirk is a celebrity. Well, that is nice to know that there's a celebrity in here. Um, who is this? Is that Mr. Fries? Oh my god, stop walking. Yep, that is Mr. Fries. So while we try to get him up here, now a lot more people are coming in here. Okay, who is... Okay, that's Eliza Pancakes. Obviously, Eliza is married. Um, Mrs. Landgrab is definitely married. And you're not writing anymore? Okay, write column. Continue writing. Your skill needs to go up. So he starts work on Monday at 6 a.m. And it's Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, it is raining too, so no one would want to go. Well, here it is raining, um, of course, in Willow Creek. It's raining, but in Brentleton Bay, it is snowing. So I'm going to get his writing skill up, so let's just speed the time up. And of course, he's not going to write for long. So you're going to write some more. Write some more columns. So once his, once, okay. On the road to fame, Sims now have the ability to become celebrities. They may have different ways to become a celebrity. And as your Sims progress in their skills and their careers, more paths to stardom will become available. Some great ways to become famous, including pursuing a career in acting or raising the media production skill via the video station or music station objects. Look for interactions labeled with fame plus fame stars. Each of these will contribute towards becoming a superstar. Okay, so of course, Nathan... Later down in his path, I want him to become an actor, and hopefully he can become an actor on a medical drama, because that's where I got his name from, it was from Grey's Anatomy. Okay, so Mr. Nathan has reached level two in his writing skill, and he's going to start making friends with Moira, um, but he has reached level two. He can now self-publish books, so he is one step closer to... Um, to promotion, so he can earn more money, and hopefully, at this point, we'll do whatever. So now, we're going to have him stop writing. He's going to chat with Moira. And we're going to go home. Hopefully, we can do fishing or whatever so we can gain some more money. Because this man is broke. He is very much broke. So, Moira, who are you? Who are you? Okay, so he looks like he's not going to chat with Moira. Moira fries. Um, so, I guess we'll just have him go home. And we'll go start collecting stuff over there. Okay, so now we are now back at home. And it looks like the rain has stopped. But it is still cold out. Now there is a beach. Which we can have him go here. Hopefully he can fish in the beach. Thought we could scour for some stuff in here. But it looks like we cannot. Um, maybe go here? Oh, so Moira basically followed us here. I think Moira is like um, getting on to us. Okay, he is uncomfortable. Why? Chilled. It's getting cold. Sims can start warming themselves back up by wearing cold weather clothing and heading indoors. What is this? Okay, so he's going to use the bathroom and then hopefully he can put on some warm weather, um, some cold weather clothes. So he doesn't actually freeze to death. Because we don't want that to happen. We want to build a successful lineage. Now, who are you? Who are you? Oh, you are Alice Kim. McNair, okay. I just want to see him go searching for some stuff. I might give him an easel so that he can... Oh, rude introduction. No, you're not going to be rude to the pets. Is there like a way that he can go 
fishing down here. He can he he can go fishing there. So hopefully we can get him to go fishing. Um hopefully he can find some fish and we can get him to get some more money so that we can build him an actual house. Um maybe more so a thousand dollars. But what is this? Is that just a pile of fish? Yeah, this is a pile of fish, so I guess it does nothing. But he's gonna go fishing, let's see if he gets anything. And then we'll sell whatever he finds. And hopefully he'll get some more money. No think and plankton. Nathan isn't really enjoying his time cast out with all these slippery scaly things, should he? Um, well, he could say he dislikes fishing, but continue to go fishing because guess what? You need money. You're not gonna bring in much money from your job currently. We're gonna have him paint a cultural mural and hopefully we can sell that mural to like the city or something. So that will always be good now that he can do a mural. And he is going hungry, so we want him to eat. So let's see, what is this gonna come out to be? Because ultimately we're gonna sell this. So he acquired the painting skill now. Oh, and he has no social skills. Um well, his social attribution or his social trait or whatever that is. Social mood, we'll say, because those are all moods. Um, he's also going tired. So, obviously, we could always come back to this. And he does start work at some point. So, um, you know what? Let's have you have a quick meal. I guess you could have some cheese crackers. You can continue your mural at some point, um, but you are going hungry and you are going to get tired at some point. So let's have you continue your mural. Um, no sleeping yet. Your mural needs to get done. And then I think maybe we could call that a day because he does start work in like six hours. So we'll have him go to work and then probably call it there. Yeah, go to sleep. Don't overwork yourself. Okay, so he's going to go to sleep. He has work, I think, at 6 a.m. or... Yeah, he has work at 6 a.m. Oh, okay. We'll have him go to work because it's 5.03 a.m. Well, 5.05, but he goes to work very soon, and he has nowhere to relieve his bladder issues. So after work, we're definitely going to give him a, a toilet or something because he definitely needs to do some of this stuff. And maybe we could do, like, a house and a roof or something like that. But... This is kind of like starting points for this. Oh, he has to go to work. Get up and go to work. You're late. You are late and you have you have to go to the bathroom. Okay, so he's putting on his formal clothes and he's going to go to work. Now, obviously, we're going to have him just work hard. He's going to work hard today while he's at work and he's going to get out soon. Okay, so he has been promoted to story researcher. So now he's going to bring home $29 an hour and he needs a toilet. Okay, he needs a toilet. So we're going to go here to the bathroom. We're going to grab him a toilet. We want to give him the least expensive toilet. We can put it by the trash. Um, and now he has no more money again. So let's have him use that. And I guess maybe we'll have him do the mural and then. Um, We'll call it a day for him. He's he's stressed. He moved into a new place, and now we have to work and reconfigure his life just so that he can, you know. Um. So let's have him continue the mural. I know you're getting tired. I know you're getting tired, and also you have no hygiene. You're gonna be stinky. Um. And maybe in the next episode we can go ahead and have him go out in the in the world and actually find a girlfriend, and hopefully he'll bring in some more money have more motivation to start his acting career, bring in a lot of money, um, hopefully he becomes famous. Um, so that way his children, he can have a life that his children couldn't, that he couldn't have so he can give it to his children. Okay, so I thought I thought we could sell the murals. I guess we can't. So I did all that work for nothing. I did all that work for nothing. Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to have for today um, in this episode. Um, we kind of got it started, we did whatever we needed to do, and then the next episode, we're going to go ahead and he's going to get some more money, because he's going to work, 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 work. And he's going to find a girlfriend, hopefully, and maybe we could also upgrade his house a little bit um, after the next episode as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, um, 
We're going to probably do this every Sunday. I don't know yet. But I, that's all I kind of wanted to do for this episode in the Legacy Challenge. And Riggs is just going to go to sleep and he's going to need a new bed. He's going to need a new bed because this one isn't suiting him. So thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. So, bye now.